But with new mesh technology, uh, there's a chance to have wireless internet access in, across this country. We're very close to the point where what we could have in this country, not very difficult, what we could have in this country is a situation where uh, you could have broadband wireless internet access anywhere in this country um, as a public utility basically for free. There would be a cost, but you wouldn't have to pay it individually. It would be a public utility. Uh, it would be much higher bandwidth up, in a, uh, up and down. The uplink would be as wide as the downlink. Uh, the more people who use it, the stronger the system, the less expensive it is. Uh, much higher quality. Uh, open to everyone automatically, just built into every computer, every device. Just, it's, like you, it's just a public utility. We could do that. The cost would be extraordinarily low prorated across the population of 280 million people. We have the ability to do that. And in a rational society where there weren't vested interests, that's exactly what we do. Three or four years from now, that would be the system we'd all have in this country and soon the whole world. That would be the system we would have. Uh, and the cost would be, you know, a few billion dollars a year spent, by, if that, probably lower. Uh, maybe $10 per person uh, in the country annually for that system. And that would basically have all your telephone would be done on that, every all, all electronic communication be on that broadband wireless system. There's one reason why that might not happen. One crucial reason. Hyman Roth and Michael Corleone, the phone companies and the cable companies, because they, their whole survival is premised on your, us not having that option. That they have the two wires that you have to go through to get broadband internet access in business in your homes. That's what they're built based on. And they're doing everything in their power with policies to make sure you don't even know about what I just told you about. And it's never even, you can't see it. And this is a great fight that's going on uh, at the policy front right now in this country. And there are a few crucial areas where the fight's going on. Some of you might have heard about what happened in Pennsylvania uh, last December. Philadelphia passed uh, a law in the city council where they're going to set up one of these wireless networks in the city of Philadelphia, make it a public utility, great wireless mesh system, everyone have access to it. Now, what a great thing to do in a city like Philadelphia. Uh, I mean, to make it, you talk about the digital divide, well, that's it, it's history, it's over. I mean, it's just over. Imagine what that does for commerce if you're into free markets. All the businesses that can take advantage of this drastically lower their communications costs. Think of all the wonderful things of that. Well, it just so happens two, uh, Michael Corleone and Hyman Roth, Verizon and Comcast, are based in Pennsylvania. And they happen to have a certain amount of influence with Batista, um, excuse me, the governor of Pennsylvania. And they went to the state legislature in Pennsylvania and got a law passed. <laughs> you hear me? This, I couldn't write this stuff. I, this stuff, this wouldn't even make it in Hollywood. They got a law passed in the state legislature that any community in Pennsylvania that wants to set up its own wireless system for its citizens uh, has to get the approval of either Verizon or Comcast. Let's get their approval to do it. Can you believe this? And the governor signed it. The governor signed it. But that's because that's they understand they're cooked if people have a real competitive alternative. They can see this system in action. They can't survive. No one's going to pay $60 a month for that crappy cable wire or DSL or whatever you're going to pay with all the added on cost. If you can have a really great, much stronger system with a faster uplink as a public utility uh, without any strings attached. Um, and, and state after state now, this is a fight we're having to prevent them. Unfortunately, the state governments are fighting with us to prevent the cable companies and the phone companies from making it impossible to have competitive systems, wireless systems owned by the communities, nonprofit, non-commercial utilities.